Hi, I'm Nate and you're watching Photo Learningism. If you've been with us the last few videos, you know that we've been taking a pretty deep dive into color and to look up tables and the ways to tone your photos. If only there was a way to do lookup tables in a powerful free open source tool with video. What if there was a way? Let's see. So once again, I'm Nate, this is Photo Learningism. This is your first time joining in, thank you so much. I do a lot of work on this channel to surface the cheap or free art technologies so that you can know about them and make good use of them and be a part of a community of learners. So thank you so much for joining in for this kind of extension of color. I just This has been such a fascinating topic to explore because it plugs into so many different things. The last kind of hitch of this, for me anyway, is how it fits into video because that's kind of a really kind of the, the final bastion of everything here for me we cover a lot in terms of static images but let's look at video so i was looking at kaden live i have talked a ton about this tool it is simply fantastic it is a super powerful open source video editing tool go get your copy of it if you don't have it already it is just i have nothing but good things to say about this tool <laughs> Even more so today, we've done a video previously on color grading. If you haven't had the opportunity, go check that out to get kind of a bearing of where this is going and also have a good look at some of the color videos. I'll put a card up for that as well over somewhere there. And you can get a good sense of, of what LUTs are and how they function today with video. I happen to find that there is an apply LUT effect within Caden Live that I was not aware of. As we've been exploring, this is becoming more visible even to me. So I brought in a test video. I'm going to offer myself as the test subject here. Um, a little bit of self-deprecating humor at my expense <laughs> for you. <laughs> and just look at how this plugs in. All right, so very simple. I'm in the editing workspace right now. There's another video on workspaces if you would like to go check that out for Caden Live. Um, but that's where I am right now. And I'm gonna drag this effect from the effects tab here down onto my clip and we get this. Now this probably looks very familiar. There is a warning here. I don't quite know how far reaching that is, but it doesn't really seem to so much get in the way as be a nuisance, so just you're aware it's there. But this is very familiar from the kind of the idea of applying in these lookup tables. And I went and checked out, hey, you know, what does it actually support? What can it actually do? If you go out there to the user manual that's out there for uh, Kaden Live, I actually found that it relies on this, this plugin here and that it does support a couple specific formats, most notably our cubes. Now, I believe all of these, if I've understood the information correctly, these are actually all three-dimensional lookup tables. They're complex uh, translations of color. Let's just plug in some of these files. I found cubes work best. It does allow you to load three ELs, but they were kind of hit or miss. So we're going to work on some cubes and try this out. Now I went searching. It was not hard to find people giving away uh, free LUTs, LUTs, uh, particularly cubes and three ELs. Those are just, it's almost like they're a dime a dozen. You can, and, and cheaper than that, <laughs> free. <laughs> uh, but they're very easy to find. I'm going to show you some of the cube options here that I just happened to find with about two minutes of searching. Um, it was very, very easy to get my hands on these for free uh, and plug it into this open source tool, Kid in Live, which is also free. <laughs> so I am just using the, the folder here to select where I'm going. I have a destination of where I've downloaded these. That's You see it jumping there. That's why, because um, I have it and it's kind of far off. I like to organize things pretty deep. Um, but yeah, the cubes, you can see the colorization changing here based on that toning built into the cube and that three-dimensional translation file. Um, I'm gonna keep looping all right through here. The chocolate mode was kind of interesting, I thought, very unique look. Um, that's kind of native to this pack. It may not necessarily be in the pack that you get, uh, but there's a lot of different choices here to really pop the color, that one really, uh, intensifies things almost like an overlay, uh, a multiply effect, which is really interesting. And let's look at this one. That's really kind of bright and almost like there's a spotlight in my face, but <laughs> you're in the headlights a little bit there. And the last one here is this one, 
which is not all that dissimilar from what I'm starting with. So, um, and that's that. So again, kind of a basic step into this. I did not know it could support this. You may be asking, well, Nate, why is this valuable? Well, we've done a lot of looking into how to colorize things and tone things. This is like the idea of the one click toning, where not only does it give you the ability to very easily unify footage with a preset uh, collection of colors, but it also gives you a certain style, and there's there's got to be millions of different styles out there. This is almost like the preset approach for Lightroom or uh, with Photoshop, if you've seen those flying around. Same idea, but you can apply this uniform toning look, this almost like cinematic edge of things in your video, and oh, here we go. Creativity, sky's the limit. That is really the premise of this. You can kind of get a look of uh, how this applies, not just to my face, but some of the pictures I took where it kind of gives it almost like this this not quite sepia but a little bit of a leached look which again that could be really cool depending on the kind of story you're telling there's there's some really cool ideas so i know this is kind of a basic jump into it it's not as deep as we've gone in other things i just thought this was such a fascinating thing to plug and to talk about because i love talking about kid in life by the way it just there's so many features and so much power uh to exercise your creativity here um so another 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 feather in the cap for Kaden Live. I love it. All right. So this has been photo learning. Is what probably one of our shorter things that we've covered to date. Uh, but again, very eye opening at least for me. I hope it was for you too. If it was helpful to kind of get a good sense of the directions that video can go here, especially with open source, give me a thumbs up. We will do vary topics. We do a lot of comparisons and other things in our videos, so don't be scared off by this. Uh, do come back. But um, consider subscribing so you don't miss those upcoming projects. I hate for you to miss out. And drop a comment, ask a question, and not just for me, but for the whole community of learners because there's power in people, there's power in community. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Forward we go. I wish you all the best, and I'll see you at the next video.